What is going on YouTube? One of the extra. I'm here. Welcome back to the channel. This is part two of the video where I go over the first impressions of riding this brand new 2021 ZX-10R. Look at this. Beautiful ZX-10R 2021. Look at the front end of this thing. Uh, fell over here to Arizona Carousel. KTM's going to lead us. It's going to be what it is. A beautiful little quick ride, but oh man, she looked good on that freaking bike. Woo. Oh, all right. All right, here we go. This beautiful 2021 ZX-10R. Right away, right away. The pegs are decently high, which is a good thing. Obviously, this bike is supposedly more track focused. And I would say just with the seating position, I'd agree. Oh, that's nice. While the seat is kind of hard, it's actually not uncomfortable. Just from very initial impressions, you feel rather comfortable just hopping on this machine. Ooh. Brand new bike again with a solid, solid quick shifter on it. All right, let's give it a little beans. What do you say? There it is. All right, okay. Oh, man. Above 4,000. Oh boy, 4,500 and above, this bike just picks up and screams. That is amazing. The quick shifter is absolutely smooth. Absolutely smooth. The brakes uh, have so much bite to them. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Man, the brakes feel so freaking good. The lever feels very firm right off the bat. Oh, baby. Woo. Man, at 4,500 and above, you gotta hold on. This thing just picks up and goes. Now, I will say, a oh, thousand to about 3,500, there doesn't seem to be a ton there. The clutch, when you do use it, feels phenomenal. Again, it's a cable driven. The clutch feels great. So this is really bumpy through here. And this is a standard suspension again, not electronic. And right out of the box, it's comfortable. Right out of the box, she's very comfortable. Oh man, I know these are short cruises, but I get to test the brake out a little bit. All right, let's get over some beans again. 4,500, there you go. Oh, the quick shifter is very freaking good. Man, is that quick shifter good. That's a lot to wrap my head around in such a short amount of time. Keynotes, this motor is a beast. Well, the turning radius on this isn't bad at all. <laughs> Something you probably don't hear too often. One of the biggest things that sport bikes have a problem with is when you go lock to lock, you smash your thumbs. But because this is dug out, you actually don't have that problem. Look at that. She looks great on that Thruxton. All right, let's find the flimsiest kickstand I've ever felt. This kickstand feels so flimsy. There you have it, folks. 2021 ZX-10R. Let's talk about it. So one of my first impressions of this 2021 Kawasaki ZX-10R. It's smooth. Like the first word that comes into my mind is smooth. The engine, the throttle, everything. As you roll on it, it just gradually picks up. I will say from 1,000 to about 3,500 and 4,000 RPM, it doesn't really do anything. But once you go to 4,500 and above, Oh my God, is this thing a screamer. It just picks up and there's so much torque that hits you. The ZX-10R brakes, the Brembo M50 calipers, they are very, very good. It's got such a good feel to them. It's actually one of those feels that was a little hard to squeeze, which, you know, some people may not be used to that. I actually really like that feeling. I like, as soon as I touch that brake, it's starting to grab. This bike grabs, I love it. The dash on the ZX-10R is phenomenal. It lays out everything really nicely. It's actually kind of got a really cool throttle gauge on the left side that you see you roll on. Some other bikes have that, but there are these little tiny understated things you really don't notice. On the ZX-10R, you actually notice some of it a good bit. I really like how they kept true to the ZX-10R rev counter that it had. The RPMs, you can see them go, and it's just digital now. It's a lot better than that analog look that it used to be. I'm so glad that they updated the dash, and this is one of my biggest criticisms. Actually, I think one of most everybody's criticisms of this bike. 
You know, I, I believe this bike was weighed around 459 pounds. It doesn't really feel that heavy. You know, we did so many little turns here. Again, it's that same short track that I did, but even leaning it in, it felt really effortless and it wanted to go and wanted to turn. But something I love about motorcycles like these is how intuitive they feel. You almost think about it for you. You want to turn, it's like, oh yeah, I'm already there, bud, keep going. Now the ZX-10R, it's come a long way. The electronics that are in here that I went over in my previous video, you can really feel it just even on this little trek that it's so, so nice and so smooth. Those electronic valves control this throttle so, so nicely. The quick shifter, I mentioned on the Triumph how smooth it felt being a brand new bike. This bike had, I think, one or six, I think it had six miles on it actually and the quick shifter was butter smooth up and down. You actually hear in some of my video how quickly it went from fifth to fourth to third. It was effortless. The quick shifter on this ZX-10R is absolutely phenomenal. Now there's a few little things that I'll mention that I aren't a huge fan of. While the mirrors don't vibrate too bad, they're actually set at a weird level to where they're almost, you almost have to do this to kind of look into them to see what's behind you. Not a fan of that, I wish they were up a little higher. Again, most people are gonna take them off because of the track. Now going back to the track, these rear sets are actually up pretty high. Now they're not as bad as what my Aprilia is, but they're still noticeable to where you're, you tell you're far enough off the ground to where you're probably not gonna drag them going around the track. You can tell this bike is very, very focused for the track as opposed to the street. Now with that being said, it's actually pretty comfortable. The seat's pretty hard and that's not the best. You know, it's almost likened to the 1199 factory seat. It's a very hard seat. This seat is also that hard, but the sitting position itself, you're not so far leaning forward where it's uncomfortable, but you're also not upright, obviously. You're in a really good, nice spot. Now with the riding position, we'll talk about the actual riding experience. The suspension is very, very plush for what it is. Like it's definitely, a, there's some stiffness there for sure, but we rode over some pretty bumpy parts of that road that we went on and it went over them beautifully. I didn't get bucked around or knocked around. It's soft enough to where it's very compliant. When you ride it, you're not getting jolted around. It's comfortable, which makes it a rather good, I say daily rider almost for a bike like this, which is pretty cool. I love the paint that's on here. I will say though that there's some plastic that needs to be replaced because it makes it look cheap. And I know this at 16 grand or 17 grand, you kind of got to give one to get the other one. But I tell you what, what's on here is a very good package right out of the box. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is my very quick and first impressions of riding the ZX-10R. It is very, very good. A great improvement over what they used to be. A lot of the quirks and the little twitchiness of the throttle and everything, gone, super smooth. So again, I want to thank Arizona Kawasaki KTM Triumph of Tucson for again, setting me up to ride this beast. This thing's brand new. And they said, hey, you're allowed to take it out and do this quick cruise, and I am very grateful for them for allowing me to do this. This bike is for sale, so contact Bruce. You will not be disappointed. For the price point, you're getting a heck of a bike. So with that, y'all have a good one. I'm out.